enjoy. Okay guys, so to get started on all three of our origamis, you're going to make a square out of your A4 piece of paper. So to do that, you need to take the top corner and make this edge align with this edge, just like this. And what you want to do is get this top corner to fold in half. And then smooth across the edge. And then when you have this shape, you want to get rid of this by cutting off with some scissors. Okay then guys, so once you have your square, you see how it's folded like this? You then need to make this same crease along this side. So you need to take this edge and fold it with this one. Don't worry if your edges don't quite match. But try and be as accurate as you can. There we go. Once you've done that, then Turn it so it's, instead of being a square, it's a diamond. Take your bottom corner and fold it up so it's about halfway between the centre and the top. Just like this. There we go. For our next step, to make the wings, you're going to want to turn it over and then you're going to want to fold this corner to match with the centre crease line and do that for both sides just like this and now do it on the other side so there we go now you want to take this corner and fold it back out so it aligns with your bottom corner so you take this corner here and align it with this corner here. And again, you do that with both sides. Now that we've done this, you can turn it back over and now you can see you have your wings. But because we don't want the penguin to have a pointy forehead and we need it to have a beak, you need to take this top corner and you need to fold it underneath as much as you want depending on how big or how small you want the penguin's forehead to be so i just take it under about an inch just like that and now you take this and you just fold it down as big as you want the beak to be so i do that about an inch too so there you go there you have it, that's your penguin, and then once you colour it in, it may look something like this. Okay guys, so for our second origami animal, we will be making an owl. So, it may look like this. So, I've already skipped ahead to making the square, and if you need to go back and look at how to do that, then feel free to rewind the video. So, from here, we need to do what we did last time, where we make the crease along here, as well as along here. So just take up your top corner and make a crease. Now, just like we did with the penguin, we're going to take this bottom corner and fold it halfway up in between the centre crease and the top corner. So, something like this. Okay, so now we need to be doing the wing. So we're going to take this corner and roughly have it just before this line. So the corner is just less than a centimetre away from the line, but this corner is off of the body, okay? So we just want to flatten that out. And 
and then you want to do the same thing to the other side. Don't worry if it's not quite the same, but if you match up the corners, these two bottom corners, you should be able to make it the same on both sides. So it's something like this. Then from here, you need to take this top corner, just like we did with the penguin, and fold it underneath however much you want. I do it about an inch. And then take this flap here, take this corner and fold it down to make a beak. Again, you can make it as big or as small as you'd like. I do it about just under an inch. So there we have it. That is your owl. So now you can color it in and then it could look something like this. For our last origami then guys, we'll be making a rabbit. So, just like we did with the others, we need to make another crease down the opposite side of our square. Where you just take up the corner and you fold it up again. So now we have this cross. Now with this, we need to keep the paper folded, just like this. And now we're going to take this bottom edge, like this, and fold it up, something like this. So, this part will be the ears of the rabbit. So the thicker you make this, the thicker the ears will be. But I recommend to make it about an inch, just over an inch. So from here guys, you want to take this corner and fold it up so it matches to the top corner up here. And you do this with both sides so it looks something like this. Then you want to turn it over, so then you have this flap here, and you want to take this and just fold it under. and flatten that out. You can fold it under however much you want, but I fold it under so it matches the width of the ears. Then you want to take this bottom corner and fold that under too, because then you have a flat chin of your rabbit. So there you go. That's your rabbit and now you can colour it in so it looks something like this but I'm sure you guys will do it much better than I do. So there you go guys, that was our three simple origamis. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can catch us with more videos next week.